What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. In this box, I have the Nike Phantom GX2 Elite in firm ground and EH, which stands for Erling Holland. Now these are the special edition boots that Erling Holland got for the recent match. I believe it was against Arsenal. He was wearing them. They're like a beautiful red colorway. So in today's video, we're gonna go through all of the tech specs, unboxing, and of course an on feet portion as well. Let's hop straight into it. So from a tech spec, perspective, these are no different than, I'm actually gonna take that out of the box, um, no different than anything else. And I realize I just gave you a teaser without showing you the box. The one thing uh, about this particular box that I'm a bit disappointed by is the fact that they didn't give him a custom box. They didn't give him anything special. It's just a basic silver Nike box. There's your uh, Phantom GX2 Elite FGEH, obviously standing for Erling Holland. These are in my normal size 9 US, 10.5 in women's, a UK 8, 27 centimeters, and a Euro 42.5. So basically the same sizing as most of the other boots that I have. We'll get these unboxed. These are from Ultra Football here in Melbourne. So if you guys are interested, there are still uh, pairs available. Oh my goodness. Yes. Look at those. So I wasn't sure based on the, wow. I wasn't sure based on the photos of these boots, but these very much, in my opinion, are, they're definitely my favorite outside of maybe the Barca colorway. Um, these are a really, really nice pair of football boots. I love the way these look. Uh, this color is absolutely sensational. Love the detailing of like the darker red in here, the, this technically, this color is technically called bright crimson, I believe. And then you've got the uh, the blue tips on this Cyclone 360 uh, sole plate here, and then some blue ombre accents here with this little zigzag. And then you've got a really nice detailing Erling, and then the other one says Holland. I'll show you that in just a second. So we'll pull these out of the box. There's your other one. Really nice looking. Yeah, I especially with this kind of frosted section and then the more metallic section of the sole plate, I think these look absolutely sensational. Little Nike football tag here. The visual aesthetic on the bottom of the shoe will wear off during play, but will not affect the performance of this product. Awesome. Thanks, Nike. Okay, here we go. Let's get the other um, little string bag action out of there. And then there you go. Very cool. I like that little personal touch as well. So you've got the Erling Holland with his little signature there and then Phantom GX. Uh, nothing on the other side, but you've got the really nice bright crimson with this dark blue accent colorway. So throw these all in the box, get that out of the way, throw this down here. And there you go. Um, as I get the tag off of here, um, so the Holland Special Edition, this is the second, technically the second special edition that he's gotten for um, his kind of the EH brand or the Force 9 brand, which is his uh, his new, it, he's sort of taking over for some of the other, you know, like Wayne Rooney was the T90, sort of the head of the T90. He's now going to be sort of the main man for the Phantom GX. Um, that's what it looks like for me because they also obviously have CR7, but CR7 sort of on the tail end of his career. So Mbappe is obviously taking over the Superfly and sort of the Vapor silo. And then Holland is going to be in here. And then the Tiempo, they're still sort of trying to figure out, I think, who's going to be in that. I know uh, Musiala on Bayern Munich is going to be a Tiempo player, probably a couple other of their athletes as well. And so we'll start to see sort of what we had back in, say, 2014, where you had CR7 with the Superfly, you had Hazard with the Vapors, you had um, Iniesta with the Magista Obra, and then the Tiempo Fives were Neymar in the Hyper Venoms, and then uh, the, who are the Tiempos? Players like uh, Jared PK and a couple of those other more like defensive style players. So Holland's getting GX2 and these are really, really nice. So as I said, um, Holland's first like special colorway was white and yellow. I'll see if we can get some photos up on screen of those. And those were hyper, hyper limited. Those were like, 
I think there was only a hundred pairs or something like that in the world. Whereas these are much more of a general release. So if you go to um, like ultra, if you guys are in Australia, you go to ultra football, you can find and buy these. And in my opinion, this is going to be a super sought after colorway, particularly because not only does it have the Holland um, on the back here. So there's your, uh, let's see if we can get those two underneath. And a focus, there you go. So Erling Holland in a nice silver colorway. These also are just, in my opinion, a really, really nice color overall. I think they did a really nice job with this color and I'm happy to see that it seems like Nike is moving in the right direction with uh, the way that they're designing these boots, especially with the silver accents and stuff. So very, very nice. Now, from a tech specs uh, perspective, we'll just go over those really quick and then we'll get these on feet because I think these are going to look absolutely awesome on feet as well. So this is just a standard other than the little um, word difference here with the Erling Holland, everything else is the same for this Phantom GX2. So this is the single layer grip knit upper. So as opposed to the previous generation, which of course was a double layer, they've now included all of the materials into this one piece upper that is super, super soft straight out of the box. It's one of the most comfortable boots out of the box, in my opinion, definitely rivals boots like the Furon and the Tequila, both of whom are just obnoxiously comfortable straight out of the box. And for those of you who don't get my sarcasm, they obnoxious is meant as <laughs> it's a it's a joke, uh, and also they are both so so comfortable. So Phantom GX2 definitely nails it right on the head. This upper is made from grip knit, fly knit, and synthetic, so you do have a little bit of the synthetic coating, of course, over the top here on the midfoot and the heel area, as you can see there, and then the fly knit comes through the. Um, lacing system area there and then you've got the grip knit here in pretty much the entirety of the forefoot and most of the midfoot as well really nice material feels super grippy and excellent on the ball what i will say though in comparison and i the reason i usually won't comment in my videos about touch especially when we're doing unboxings because that's more of a play test thing but because i've actually had a lot of experience in these particular boots and they're the same as any of the other colorways what i will say is that the phantom gx2 does a better job in my opinion at sort of managing the grip when you are playing in wet weather conditions they're just as good in my opinion as the first generation that came out and then these ones i think in dry weather conditions are particularly special because the little grooves on the upper side of this upper so you've got these little grooves that came from phantom luna one those grooves really help sort of displace the way that you uh, touch and feel the ball and so it's not as crazy grippy as the first generation GX, which is really nice. So this upper is probably one of, if not my favorite uppers on the market right now. Cyclone 360 tooling from the Luna One. Definitely, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna comment too much on this. I do think it's a fine sole plate for firm ground. I would not, this is not a boot that I would put in the category of go ahead and wear it for FG and AG surfaces. I strongly recommend going with the AG model for people who play on both surfaces, but if you only play on FG, these will be just fine for you, I imagine. All bladed studs, you've got this little cyclone with the, th the five studs in the forefoot. I think this is way too aggressive, and these two studs right here um, get a little bit obnoxious when you're playing on any surface that isn't um, FG as well. So that's, you know, it is what it is. It's a decent sole plate. It's got decent amount of flexibility. Um, okay snapback, although I think they could do a little bit better there through the midfoot, but I really like how flat it is. As you can see, there's no, there's no curvature. There's not sort of an aggressive curvature that you get with a lot of modern day speed boots. And that's something that I actually really like as well. It's the lightest Phantom, every uh, lightest Phantom from Nike to date. I think these run in the six ounce range, just above six ounces, which is really, really nice. Um, and in comparison to the previous generation, it's got a little bit of a wider fit. And then they also did some nice volume work to the toe box area, which I know was a big complaint of the Phantom GX1. Everybody loved that boot, except a lot of people were saying, yeah, but it's a little bit too tight, in my opinion, in the toe box. They definitely, not only with the softness of the material, the fact that it's only a one piece now, so you have a little bit more flexibility than the two piece upper from the Phantom GX1. This does give you a little bit more of a roomy sensation and true to size fits perfectly for me. So that's why 
obviously got the 9 US. So if you guys are interested, as I said before, if you guys are interested in a pair like this, I got mine from Ultra Football and I would highly recommend you go check their page out. You guys can find the link in the description um, to either purchase some merch like I have here, some custom Noah Cavanaugh merch, or you can pick up boots like this that are available. Um, I don't know how many pairs are going to be left, but definitely check their site out for... Um, yeah, for boots like this that are a little bit more limited and very cool. So without further ado, let's hop into the on feet portion of the video. Um, one quick comment actually before we do, this will only come in a low top variation. So the GX1 will only come, or the Erling Holland edition will only come in GX1. It won't be in Luna, or GX2, excuse me, it won't be in Luna 2. So it won't have that extra bit of uh, collar material. So if you are a GX2 player, fantastic. If you're a Luna 2 player, then maybe just go with this one anyway because it's really cool and the collar makes absolutely no difference. So that's how I would go about it. But let's hop into the on feet portion of the video and we'll get these absolute bad boys on feet. Let's hop into it. All right, fam, out here in the backyard with the Phantom GX2 in the Erling Holland edition. Now I am absolutely stoked to get these on feet. So without further ado, let's get these on. So I'm going to really quickly flip the screen so I can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. What an awesome looking pair of boots, especially in this sunlight. One of the details I love as well is inside on the sock liner, you actually get um, his signature and his branding as well, which is really cool. Nice little touch from Nike and boom, right away. Yeah, these are super, super comfortable. Phantom GX2, as you know, is one of my favorite boots on the market, if not my favorite. It's probably my go-to for matches just because of how well it fits and because I love the grip elements on here. So this grip knit just does such a nice job of molding around your foot, feeling fantastic. As you can see, nice amount of wiggle room as well because of the softness of that upper, like you translate that into you know, toes and stuff. Sizing 9 US fits perfectly right up to the edge of um, the boot with a little bit of extra space on the end, which is perfect. Um, we'll get this second one on as well. But I love how these look. I think the color is sensational. Huge fan of the way that these are going to complement most kits. And to be honest, even though these are red and Manchester City is blue. I still think these actually look pretty good with those kits. So we'll see, obviously, as the season progresses, if he ends up wearing this colorway the whole season or for the rest of the season, I guess, or um, or what. But yeah, huge fan. Soul plate looks really nice. As I said before, and for those of you who do know and have seen my reviews on these boots before this sole plate is definitely not suitable for pitches like this that are ag um, obviously this is a outdoor ag but you get the idea right they're just a little bit too aggressive and they feel especially these two studs down here um, feel way too aggressive for an ag surface that being said the overall comfort of the gx2 is really fantastic it's going to fit most people because of how wide it is and, you know, if you guys were fans of like Phantom Ultra, if you ever tried those, the Phantom Venoms, Hyper Venom Phantom 3, like these are on that level of comfort in my opinion. And these are definitely a boot that I just absolutely love wearing. I think they're super comfortable. The heel area fits really, really well. And I think for most foot shapes, as you can see, really neutral, nice amount of uh, stretching here in this midfoot as well super super nice so there's a good look at the whole kit i think with a black kit white socks i mean really any color boots gonna work with black and white but i think especially this color is really special so for me these are a must buy in my opinion if you are on the market for a phantom gx2 i would buy this colorway this is my favorite i think out of all of them the barca colorway is a close second i reckon but i think these just look absolutely ridiculous and and ridiculous awesome right so touch on the ball really awesome as well super thin nice amount of padding um like it's it's that thin padding you get from the grip knit material and especially with those little curves that you get on the top of the shoe. So especially here, so you can see the pattern really well on this angle, especially in the sunlight. This provides a little bit of texturing so that when you're touching the ball, it feels a lot like um, what Magista Obra 2 used to feel like. So it's, it's not quite as padded as those, obviously, but it does give you a really nice padded sensation as you're hitting the ball with that lacing system area, too. Um, 
This is a pair of football boots that I cannot speak highly enough about. I just think they fit my foot really, really well. Um, and I know this is a crazy, like I'm putting this out there. I think these are gonna be in my top 10 football boots of all time, just because of the way they fit, because of the way they fe fe feel on my feet, and they have all the aspects of a boot that I'm looking for from a grip, from a striking surface area, um, all that stuff. They just fit incredibly well, in my opinion. They feel awesome on ball. Um, as I said before, the sole plate isn't my favorite for the FG model. But when you do play on FG with these boots, they do give you a nice feeling underfoot. They're pretty balanced. As I said, just those two studs on the lateral and medial side of the sort of that midfoot, forefoot area just are a little bit iffy. Um, but overall, just a fantastic fitting pair of football boots. Super comfortable. Um, if you are somebody with a really wide toe box area, that is something that might take a little bit longer to break in. But again, that's up to you. Um, but again, as I said before, super, super colorway. Really nice um, for Erling Holland. There's obviously his uh, his name on the back of there, and would highly, highly recommend the GX2 for most people. So if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you go down in the description box below. You can pick up merch uh, like this, full kits. I've got um, some sweatshirts and other stuff that's all custom with Adidas which I'm super excited for. Um, and then of course you can pick these up at Ultra Football if you want uh, via the same link, help support the channel. And also you get a pair of really dope boots as well. So as always be awesome, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.